We're in Corsica, um, and we're actually in Bonifacio, which is just on the southern point of Corsica. As you can see, we're um, just in this amazing location here where we have these stunning rock formations behind us, um, some beautiful cliffs. Um, and it's still quite early in the day, so it's probably a little bit too early for photography. But there's a few um, images which I'm hoping to capture whilst we're at this location today. Uh, one is of this big rock behind us. If I just pop the camera up, you might be able to see that. And I can't remember the name of it. Um, can you remember what it was called? I think it's Grain of Sand in French. Grain of Sand in French. I'll pop the name of it um, up on the screen now so that you can see what it's actually called as opposed to what we think it might be called. Um, but also, if I spin the camera around... Seamless. Um, there's this beautiful spot up the top there where the buildings are sort of attached to the top of the cliff. Um, so also later on in the day when the, sun, when the sun's going down and we hit the golden hour, um, I'm hoping to get up to the top of those cliffs and get another photo of that. Um, it's one of those classic postcard scenes of Corsica. Um, so it's not exactly going to be an, an original photograph, um, but it's one I kind of just have to get whilst I'm here. Um, but anyway, it's a beautiful scene. Um, we're going to continue a little walk around and um, start, yeah, just trying to see if we can hunt out some future images for later on in the evening. Welcome to the sunny Mediterranean. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful here. Not at all cold. Um, not at all wet and rainy. <laughs> um, Hannah's doing something interesting. What are you doing, Hannah? Playing. Hannah's playing. Um, but having said that, although it's cold and it's wet and it's miserable, we've got a lovely moody slightly stormy looking scene going on here um, with the rock so um, it might actually lend itself quite well to a good composition um, with any luck we'll get a bit of colour in the sky um, which would just be fantastic um, and I'm kind of in two minds I might take a couple of shots here um, I'm quite keen to try one with a 10 stop filter uh, just to see what effect it has on this sea. It's going to blow it all out and with the amount of white sort of spume that we've got going on with the sea, um, I think that might work quite nicely. So we'll try that in a moment. If we get a little bit of colour in the sky, um, I'll pop the 24 to 105 mil lens on um, and we'll give it a go. So I'm all set up now with the 10 stop filter. Um, I'm not too sure how this is going to work to be honest. Um, at the current um, shutter speed we're looking at, uh, without the 10 stop filter it's half a second. So that actually means that with a 10 stop we're going to have to do an 8 minute long exposure. Um, that might be too long but I'm going to give it one go anyway and just see how it turns out. Um, I've got the eyepiece covered. Um, bag on the tripod so hopefully everything's going to stay nice and level and if only I can find my shutter release where it is um, hopefully um, we'll be able to make this work um, eight minutes um, Hannah's going to start the clock and off we go So as soon as that eight minute long exposure ended, we were hit with this massive deluge of rain and everything got soaked. Filters were soaked, cameras soaked, but hopefully that'll be okay. Um, but yeah, we decided to abandon that spot um, and come back up to the top here. Um, sorry, it was wind is blowing everywhere. Um, yeah, I think to be honest, I reckon that location is probably going to work much better as a sunrise location rather than a sunset location. So um, I think what we'll do if you can hear me, this wind's probably a bit too loud. Um, what we'll do is we'll probably come back and try again um, at sunrise on another day. We're here for a week, so um, 
yeah, I think we'll be much better off coming in and giving Red a better shot when the light is much better. Um, and anyway, we came up the top here, and again, you can see these clouds have really just snuffed out the whole sunset, so we haven't had any colour at all in the sky. Um, so yeah, I think it's probably going to be best to come back to this location um, when the light's a lot better and, and try it again. Um, before we go though, I did want to take one picture here with this path leading up because we do have clouds in the sky and I think it might still work as a black and white image. Um, as you can see, we've got the path is creating this nice lead-in line up to um, the town in the background. So I take this image now before the light drops too low. Um, I think, as I say, it'll work as a black and white because we've got those clouds in the sky and hopefully we'll come back another day and do a colour image where we get better light in the sky. Um, but I'll go ahead and take the image. So just let you know what settings we've got here. Um, the usual ISO 100, um, as I always do, and then it's um, f11. Um, and the current exposure is um, a one second exposure. And um, I'm going to bracket the shot as well, just so that I can really drag some of the highlights out of that sky, um, which I think will work quite well in the black and white image. So we're going to take the image now. There we go. No filters at all. Yeah, and I think that when it's processed, that's going to turn out quite nicely. I managed to drag myself up at five o'clock this morning and um, drive down from uh, where we're staying near uh, Porto Vecchio back down here to, to Bonifacio. Um, God, I probably look awful. <laughs> I've just woken up. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I came down here because um, I wanted to come back to this location for sunrise. Um, unfortunately, stupid me I didn't check where the sun was actually going to rise using my Sunseeker app um, and the sun as you can see is actually rising over there um, but um, as you can see there's just a bit of colour appearing in these clouds up here so um, I've managed to frame up my shot um, of the town up on the cliff here um, I'll just show you on the back of the camera um, I've basically got the um, uh, it's a very similar composition to uh, how we had it before, uh, with the buildings up in the top right third. I've got the horizon itself sat on the, the upper third. Um, and at the moment, I've just got a polarizing filter on there because um, our exposure time is two and a half seconds, which I think is probably, probably long enough for the time being. Um, what I might do is take another shot, maybe with a four stop or a three stop ND. I haven't decided yet, uh, just to see if I can get a bit more um, to see, to see if I can blur out the movement of the water a little bit more. Um, but I think a two and a half second exposure at the moment is probably sufficient. So I'm going to take a, a couple of shots just with the polarizer and see how they turn out. Um, but yeah, I think you know, the weather's much better today than it was the other evening when we came down. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get some better shots of this place. Right, we're really starting to get some nice colours in the sky now. You can see we've got those pinks and the clouds up there, which is working really nicely. So it's time for a second attempt with a 10 stop filter um, and this rock. Yeah, I think this is going to work much better than it did the other night. Um, the sky's got a little bit more of that sort of tint of colour in it still. Um, although, you know, I think it's now about 35 minutes past sunrise. So, um, yeah, I, I think it's going to work much better. Um, I've actually moved slightly from where I took the last photo. So the last photo I actually took up near, the, near that sign up there. We've actually moved around slightly, so it's a very slightly different composition, this one. Um, I think this one's actually working better. Um, 
but uh, at the current uh, light levels we're still looking at about seven eight minute long exposure um, with a 10 stop filter so uh, we'll see how it turns out um, and then I might pop down onto the beach to see if I can get some more shots down there um, at a slightly faster exposure and just try and get some of these rocks in the foreground maybe with water coming over the top of them I think that might work quite well um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. So for this composition on the beach, um, I've got this spot here where we've got the two stones um, down in the foreground and then um, the main stack itself um, quite central in the image and again I'm working to that kind of rule of threes where we've got the, the three stones in the image which just gives um, a few different subjects in the image for the, for the eye to sort of roam around the image um, so I think that's going to work quite well um, again 10 stop filter um, I'm quite liking the effect that it's giving um, by blowing out the sea in this case and then I've got the polarizer as well just to take the glare off the water um, so yeah, I think it's, I think this one's working pretty well. I think I've been rewarded this morning for, for getting up out of bed early. Um, I really didn't want to wake up this morning. Um, we had such a tiring night last night. And yeah, this morning all I wanted to do was just have a nice lion. Um, but I woke up just before five and I was like, right, no, get out of the house, get going. Um, and I think it's paid off. Um, do let me know what you think below. Um, I'd love to get some feedback on the pictures. If, you've, if you liked them or if you, if you didn't like them, then do, do let us know in the comments below. That'd be fantastic. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, do consider subscribing. Um, we've got some more videos uh, coming from Corsica coming up. Um, some really great locations around here. It's such a beautiful island. Um, I think, you know, it's just the photographic opportunities in this place are just, yeah, there's so many. So really looking forward to, to seeing you in some more videos. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and we'll see you next time.